Hey guys, it's Barney up Bonanza Extra again, and today we're going to be going over the input command in Python 3.3. So we're just going to open up the idle here. Now this is loaded, we're just going to full screen it, and we're going to be doing all our code in the new window today for the first time. So basically what the input command is, it's a function that allows the user to input unique information. It can either be printed on the screen or used in different types of like applications and programs and stuff. So a basic input would be input, two parentheses, and then in here goes your prompt, whatever you want it to print on the screen before the user enters their input. So it can be either double quotations or single quotations. So you could say you could enter uh, enter your name, and after all these quotes, I normally put a colon and a space to make it look neater. Now, of course, it can be enter your age, enter anything, but this is what will print on the screen before the user enters a input. Now, this input, all it will do at the moment is it would ask for their name. They would type their name in, and it would just print their name. It would reprint their name on the screen because that's all it's doing at the moment. But if we can set this, we can set this to in equal to a variable. So I could put name is equal to input into your name. Now, basically, name contains anything that the user puts in to this input. So you could say, for a simple application idea, print, and then here you could put hello, and because it's a string we use a plus sign, and you just put name. Now all this will print, it will print hello, like that, and it will print the variable name, which is whatever the user put in. So, let me shave this quickly. So it just says enter your name, put Callan, and it just says hello Callan. Right. Now that's over and done with. There are also different ways you can use inputs. So we just uh, do a few now. So we do name, age, and I don't know, random float. There we go. Now I'm just going to set these all equal to different types of inputs. This top one is going to be a str, which just stands for string, so it will it will um, convert anything you input into a string. So then you just put two parentheses, you put input in these parentheses, and another two parentheses, and you write your uh, prompt in here, so enter your name, colon space. Now in the next one, which is age, we want them to put in a integer value. So we just put int, which means it will only accept int, or it will convert the input into an int. And we just do the same as the last one, input, and then we just put in here, enter your age, colon space. Now the last one wants to be a float value, and you've guessed it, you just put in float, two parentheses, uh, input, oh, input, two parentheses, and then here, whatever you want to prompt, so enter a random float. Now these can be used to uh, make large sentences, so you could put print, and you could put uh, hello, space, and you could put a plus and the name of the variable, which is name. We also add in another thing here and it says you are um, something so you put a plus and then you put str and the name of the variable so age and this all this does is convert the integer to a string value it's a lot easier to work with if it's like this so I'm just going to do it that way you are something years, oh, years old comma and your fave uh, float is and we just put str random float and that will just basically print all the what the user put in and in fact we're just going to put a print um, just blank parentheses, this just prints a space in the console don't worry about that. Once this loads, it says enter your name, Callan, enter your age, 14, 
into a random float, uh, 0 0.34. It says, hello Callan, you are 14 years old and your favourite float is 0 0.34. That's about it for today, guys. But if you ever need any help, uh, just leave a uh, comment down below and I'll help you out. And hopefully next tutorial we'll get onto some more advanced stuff, maybe. But uh, yeah, that's about it for today. So um, I guess I will see you next time.